Maine lawmakers are being asked to make a very big decision. Should the state buy out its two big electric utilities to create a whole new nonprofit utility to take over? Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. Backers of the Pine Tree Power idea say it's gaining more support, but opponents say it's a bad idea for Maine. The bill that would create this new entity was outlined today at Augusta. News Center's Don Kerrigan was there. In even its simplest form, the proposal is big and dramatic change for the whole state. The Pine Tree Power idea would have consumers take over Maine's electric grid, essentially kick out central Maine power and versant power because supporters say the history of outages, billing problems, and other issues show those companies aren't doing the job. I believe all these issues are related to the ownership model, and it's a failed ownership model to have foreign governments and foreign corporations own our critical infrastructure. Versant is owned by the city of Calgary in Canada. CMP's parent, Abbott Grid, is owned by Ibadrola. The Pine Tree Power advocates say they want to change all of that. The proposal calls for a board of directors elected by Maine voters, which would take over all the poles, wires, and substations and hire a private contractor to actually operate the business, all paid for by revenue bonds paid back through customer bills. Without tax dollars, without state bonds, it finances itself off of its own future rates. But creating Pine Tree Power would almost certainly result in a forced buyout of both central main power and versant power, something the companies don't want and that opponents say would be bad for Maine. Government-controlled power is, is simply a bad idea for a number of reasons, and the number one reason is the cost. Seizing central main power and versant power would cost, we think, at least $13.5 billion. And to put that in perspective, that's more than three times the entire state budget. A consultant hired by the legislature two years ago estimated the buyout cost at $13.5 billion saying rates would go up for the first 10 years, but once that was paid off, consumers would save money. It is a very big and complex decision for legislators with a lot at stake for Maine. It is a big idea, there's no question, and that's one reason that we want to send it to the voters. We feel that the voters should have a chance to weigh in on this one way or the other, and not just leave it to you know elected leaders in Augusta. That will only happen if the proposal passes the legislature and the governor. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. At today's public hearing, the governor's energy office testified neither for nor against the proposal, but said that there are many questions not yet answered and that the idea needs a lot more study before any decisions are made. This afternoon, we also heard from Central Maine Power about the project. Executive Chairman David Flanagan says, aside from outages caused by major storms, reliability metrics have stayed stable for the company. What we have going for us is uh, a voice in the parent company, the benefit of their economic resources that can be used to improve our grid. News Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse will have more on CMP's response to this bill coming up tonight at 11.